Hello everyone, welcome to the Final Fantasy XIV Patch 6.2 Gathering Guide. This guide will cover the new gathering nodes, where and when to find them, all the stat breakpoints you need to hit with those nodes, and my melds and food I use to hit those breakpoints. I'd like to note this will only cover minor and botanist gathering as fishing is its own monster. First up, let's take a look at the new stat requirements for all of the new nodes characteristics. The first requirement to even gather from these nodes is 3600 perception. Every node has the gatherer's boon characteristic. This gives you 30% more towards high quality strikes which yield one extra material. The requirement for this is 3800 perception. The next characteristic is gathering yield plus one. This does as it sounds, adds an extra material to each strike. The required stat for this one is 3590 gathering. Last but most certainly not least is Gathering Integrity Plus. This characteristic is as it sounds as well. It adds an extra strike to the node. This can come either plus one or plus two gathering attempts. The requirement for this is 850 GP. So it looks like we need to hit 3800 Perception, 3590 Gathering, and 850 GP. Here are my melds I am using. This is just an example, you can get to these stats however you want with melds and food. I'll leave a link in the description to the gear planning site I used. These are the foods I use. I primarily use Ciderite's cookies. These get me to 3800 perception. The Kalamarake Tiganita I use for collecting. We'll talk about that at the end. Let's take a look at where and when to find the new nodes. All spawn times are in-game time. Starting with noon and midnight, we have the Harataki. This is found in Thavnir, X29, Y26. The closest Aetherite is either Palaka Stand or Yedlimad. At 2 AM or PM is the Paldeo Log. This is found in Elpis at X9, Y29, just outside the 12 Wonders Aetherite. 4 AM or PM is Bayberry. This is found in Labyrinthos, just west of the Archeon Aetherite, at X28, Y11. 6 a.m. or p.m. is raw rutilated quartz. This is found in Garlemald at the Tertium Aetherite. Just port in and head outside. 8 a.m. or p.m. is Ilmanite. This is found in Merlimentorum at X29, Y22. Either Aetherite will work for this one. Lastly, at 10 a.m. or p.m. is Ash Diatomite. This is found back in Labyrinthos at X11, Y21. The closest Aetherite to this node is Aporia. The rotation I use for these nodes yield me anywhere from 18 to 40 items depending on the characteristics and my current GP. If you use cordials, having max GP for each node shouldn't be an issue. The rotation goes Mountaineer's Gift 1, Mountaineer's Gift 2, Nald Thal's Tidings, Strike the node 2 to 4 times, Solid Reason, if proc, wise to the world, One Strike, maybe more, Solid Reason, if proc, wise to the world, and then finish by striking the node dead. You may need to strike the node more than once after the first solid reason to get enough GP for the second. I'll do a demonstration on this last node, but I kind of want everyone to clear away first, so we'll give it a moment. Now that everyone's gone, we can kind of look at it. So we have gathering yield plus one, so it's already at two. So we're going to do the rotation. First, we're going to do Mountaineer's Gift 1. Then we're going to do Mountaineer's Gift 2. Followed by Nald Thal's Tidings. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to hit it a couple of times. I like to do two, maybe four. We can do four. Now, at this point, I'll do a solid reason. And it did proc, so we have wise to the world. We only have 292 GP, so we need to strike it so we can get up to 300. So two strikes, and now we can use solid reason again. And it did not proc wise to the world, so we'll just go ahead and finish the node now. If we look in the chat, we can count how many times I was able to hit it. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 times 4, 36. So we got about 36 items for that node. It's not bad. 
I guess the best would have been one more, and that would have been 40. There's one more thing to go over, but before we do that, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. It really helps. Also, share this with a friend you think might gain from this video. Leave a comment for the algorithm, or just share your own tips with the community in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with all my future content. Okay, back to the guide. The last thing to talk about is the new Prime and Sublime collectibles. These require 3700 perception to even attempt gathering. The Prime items are, from what I can tell, just regular collectibles. The primary function is to use ethereal reduction on them. What I have seen, the Prime items only give crystals and clusters. It's the Sublime items you want, and they seem to require ever more gathering. With my stats, including food, the highest I can get with them is 10% chance to get a Sublime. The Sublime are guaranteed to yield a new rare crafting material only obtained through these means. There are three, I assume one for each gathering class. The Prime and Sublime items are found at the same node locations as the old crafting materials. They're even on the same time. This is where that Kalamaraka Tiganita food comes in. I use this food because it increases both my perception and gathering, which helps with collecting. You don't need as much GP when collecting, you only need about 700 to do the collectibles rotation, which hasn't changed. So all you do is you go in here, you click on it, your rotation would be, I use this, but you don't have to, your rotation would be scrutiny, meticulous prospector, or meticulous whatever it is for botanist, scrutiny again, meticulous again, and you hit a thousand congratulations. So the prime item, the, the sublime material or item rather is over here. The percentage is shown underneath of it. This 10% has turned yellow. Um, without the food, I can get 9% and it's a white number. So I'm assuming that this 10% is probably the highest you can get. Um, I don't know, I could be wrong about that. Uh, I haven't tried to increase my gathering to see. But then you just collect the item and hope that one of them comes out to be sublime. I have yet to ever get a sublime item. Anyway, we can reduce these really fast and see if we get anything other than crystals. I highly doubt we will. Crystals. No. Okay. Well, maybe I'll keep trying. Maybe I won't keep trying, but... I don't know, it doesn't seem worth it to me. I don't even know what these are for. They're, ma they're expert recipes, which means they have the other um, conditions. The centered, sturdy, malleable, primed. So there's that. I don't know if these can be turned in for anything or if there's some kind of currency or what they're used for. I haven't looked all too hard, but I did kind of walk around Rods at Han and Old Charlie, and then I didn't see any vendor that was accepting these items. So if anybody does know, let me know in the comments. All right, everyone, that's all the info I have to share. Don't forget to subscribe to catch all of my future content. Thanks for watching or listening. Have a safe journey.